My name is Mark Ormrod and I come from Plymouth. I actually applied to join the Marines when I was 16, uh, straight after my GCSEs. I was fortunate enough to be accepted and start training when I was 17 and I passed out when I was 18. Pretty much as soon as I'd finished training, uh, by the time I turned 19, I was deployed to Iraq on Operation Telic 1 in 2003. Came back from there, uh, did a few uh, tours in Norway, learned how to ski and survive in the Arctic. Uh, a couple of exercises in various places around the world and then I actually left in 2006 to pursue a career as a bodyguard. Uh, that didn't work out and so about 12 months after I left I rejoined um, early 2007 and was drafted to 40 Commando in Taunton down in Somerset. In 2007 uh, when I deployed uh, about three months into the deployment on Christmas Eve morning uh, I was involved in a foot patrol and at the end of that foot patrol on the way back into camp, I stood on and detonated an improvised explosive device, which resulted in me losing both of my legs above the knee and my right arm above the elbow. Uh, well, initially, um, I was flown back to the UK Christmas morning. I spent three days unconscious in a coma, another four days on the intensive care ward, and then I was moved up to what they call the burns and plastics ward. I spent a total of six weeks on bones and plastics, um, healing and recovering and, and gaining my strength back and mentally trying to come to terms with what had happened to me. After those six weeks in hospital, I was moved to Headley Court Rehabilitation Centre in Surrey where I continued healing and really started with the hard rehab and eventually was issued with prosthetic limbs and then went on to try and regain as much independence as I could. I'm here today at Silverstone with the bike experience um, and it's going to be my first time back on a motorbike uh, since I was injured serving in Afghanistan. So uh, my name is Talon Skills Piggins, uh, originally from Cornwall and now from Surrey and I'm the founder of the bike experience. So the bike experience came into effect uh, about four years ago. Uh, for many people who are disabled they think that riding a motorcycle is beyond them. I was uh, run over by a car in 2003, uh, I was an avid biker and I thought at that point that I was never going to get back on a bike. Uh, I bought my own bike a few years later, adapted it and taught myself how to get back on it. Didn't go so well for me, I fell off quite a few times but we finally found a safe way of how I could ride again. Uh, we then realised that well, the, the feelings that I got from being back on a bike were incredible. The feelings of the freedom, the feelings of independence, the joy of being back on a bike and being free from the wheelchair uh, made me realise that there had to be other bikers out there who believed that riding a bike was impossible uh, but would love to get back on a bike. And so uh, myself and a friend Russell, uh, we got together and we came up with the idea for the bike experience. The, Bike Experience has become an official charity. Uh, we've taught in three years 75 riders uh, and already this year we've taught 20 different riders and so it's, it's the, 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 the requirement for us for our services I suppose is there you know and it's more and more people are wanting to to get back on a bike. We've laid out our own course for today we've got a number of different bikes here uh, and we've got a number of different riders that are coming today. You can get to a point where you can go racing. So I've now got my full AC race license and I compete with uh, various different clubs, Thundersport, BIMC, North Gloucester, uh, in the Mini Twin Series, which is fantastic fun to be able to be out there racing against able-bodied racers. Uh, whilst I'm out on the track, no one treats me any differently from any other race. And so motorsport is one of those few things where someone who's disabled, who's paralysed from here down, can compete against someone who's completely able-bodied. There aren't very many sports that that could happen.
Nerve is full. You know, when, when people say that they can't do things, you know, I think a lot of it is down to fear. You know, one thing I've realised since being injured is that as long as you have a big enough reason why you want to do something, you'll find a way to do it. You know, and you know, I wanted to get back on a bike, um, and my why was because I didn't know anybody else in the ride that had done it with my level of injuries. 